All right. We now have joining us on the Soccer Hour on 810 The Spread, brought to you by your NorCal Honda dealers. It is Matthew Hoppy, or as he likes to be called, just Hoppy, which makes it very easy. Hoppy, what's going on, man? Welcome to San Jose. Yeah, it's uh, it's good to be here. Yeah, man. I was stoked. I'll, I'll fanboy out for a second here because um, when I had obviously seen you play in, in Europe and with the national team, I had actually had the thought of, I was like, that's a guy I would love to have in San Jose. And there are like, people had mentioned it before. There have been rumors. So I don't, you know, obviously I'm not involved with the, the transfer market and things of that nature. But I remember a while ago when your name came up, I was like, that'd be awesome if you eventually landed here in San Jose. And now you're here. Uh, it's hotter than Hades. You brought the heat with you as well. It seems like uh, the minute you got into the Bay Area, the Mercury decided to climb up. So uh, imagine that's a little bit different than uh, maybe training in Europe. How is, uh, how's the heat been affecting your uh, training so far with the Quakes? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, I grew up in Southern California, so I grew up with the heat, but um, I think I was in England and I was up in Scotland recently, so um, I haven't seen the sun really for about, you know, a whole year. And then even when I was back home in the in SoCal this summer, I was home for about three weeks. It was, uh, you know, it was gloomy. There was not too much sun. So this is like my first, you know, real sun I've had in, you know, a year basically. So it's been, it's been enjoyable. Nice. Yeah, man. I always, you know, laugh. Everybody talks about, um, you know, the, the rigors of the, you know, the, the American schedule versus the European schedule. And like the first thing I think of is like, well, yeah, good luck playing, you know, soccer in Minnesota in the middle of January. Cause we already, we already know why they play indoors in the NFL, but it's like people forget about what it's like in Houston or in San Jose or in Dallas or Atlanta, even though they have, you know, now an indoor stadium or indoor outdoor, I guess we should call it. But um, yeah, man, like, so, how is it, you know, moving to a new team? You're now in a new league, a, a new country. Obviously, like you said, you're from Southern California, so you are an, an American, clearly. But I imagine it's quite a bit to take in in a couple of weeks. Like, all of a sudden, you got to move your life from one part of the world and one part of the football world to the other. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's just a part of the job, I think. Um, you know, it's both, you know, exciting and, you know, you're, you're, you want to, you know, enjoy the opportunity and everything, but um you know you're always leaving leaving your friends behind and that makes it hard but um I think me making this move was was the right step and you know I'm excited to be here and you know all the guys have been amazing since I've been here and the, the coaching staff as well so um yeah I'm, I'm ready to give my all and that's you know the biggest thing what's the hardest thing when you're first getting going with a new team is it learning everybody's name I would imagine that might be just as hard as learning a new system because at least a system like it's presented to you, but you don't have to remember it and be quizzed on it. Is there a lot of like, Hey, you, Hey, Ace, what's happening, man? <laughs> yeah. I think, uh, cause I had some, some talks with the coach before about, you know, how, how he sees me with the team and, and the system and, um, you know, just from, from all the teams I've been on all the experiences I've had, you know, I've had to, you know, adapt to a whole bunch of different systems. So I think, yeah, it is, a. Uh, you know, one of the bigger things is, you know, just trying to get, get everyone's name, just trying to, you know, get that down and then get to know them as well. Cause I think that's, you know, important to be, you know, you know, on the team and then to be incorporated, you know, within the guys and to, you know, be friends with them. Cause I think that's when you can get the most out of each other when, when, uh, you know, there's that bond and that connection with them and then, well, they'll fight for you and you'll fight for them. And I think that's important. Easy, low hanging fruit take for the sports talk world is to say, Oh, he played with Burhalter you know, Luchi Gonzalez was an assistant with Burhalter. He knows the system that makes the learning process for you easier. Is that, is that a lazy take or is there truth to that? No, I think there's, there's definitely truth to that. I think, um, you know, if you break it down, the playing styles are very similar. They have a lot of the same principles. And I think, um, you know, I, I fit into to the system that they want to play. And uh, yeah, I think, there, there definitely is a, a correlation that makes it you know easier to, to adapt. And that's part of the reason why I made this decision to come over here. Yeah. And I, you know, I, I think for you, it's probably got to be relatively flattering that the team said, we need to bolster our offense. This is a guy that we think can help us in this stretch run. Um, what, I mean, is there like, do you like the idea of like, Hey, this team wanted me, this team saw a role for me, this team saw, a place for me to come in and impact them as they go down this stretch run. Yeah. I mean, that was definitely, you know, important in my decision. And I think, 
that from from what I've seen with with the team this year that you know they they've been well they've been pushing you know for the playoffs and then um, when I look at myself you know I I'm you know hungry to to play hungry to score goals so I think it was a perfect match. Yeah. Um, where where do you see your game right now? I know you've played striker, you've played winger before. Are you ready just to say, hey, wherever they want me to line up, I'm going to go out there and do that? Or is there, do you feel like there's something like, no, I need to work on this aspect of my game and that's at, you know, position X, Y, or Z? Um, I think, you know, I I play both striker and left wing. And I think, um, you know, both those positions that I'm, I'm happy playing with. And it's just about, you know, using those positions to play with my strengths and uh, also being able to help the team. So I think the biggest thing I want to do is try and get goals and get in positions to get goals. So mm-hmm. um, being in those positions, I think I'm able to do that. So I'm happy with playing both. In terms of, you know, your game right now, if you were to pull back and say, okay, this is where I am in my career right now, this is what I need to work on. Are there specific aspects of your game that you look at? Or are you just trying to raise your overall level? Um, I mean, you know, as a player, I'm always trying to find things I can work on and improve. And, um, you know, I think I'm I'm working hard to do that. And, you know, the biggest thing I want to do right now is just show everyone what I can do. Um, and that, that comes through, you know, playing time and exposure and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm really just excited for, you know, the next few months and what's to come and, uh, yeah. you know, the rest of the season. I'm trying to think of the guys you might know on the team that, you know, that you cross paths with, with the U S men's national team. I'm assuming Jackson, I don't have the exact dates lined up in my head. And maybe did you cross paths with Kate at all? Yeah. I was at the, the gold cup with Jackson and then yeah. I was in the, at the January camp with Kate. So um, yeah, I've been, been talking with them a lot and uh, you know, they're good guys. Does that make the transition easier? Just going in and at least knowing one or two guys. Um, yeah, I think, you know, it makes it easier that I could just, you know, if I need anything, I can go to them and, um, you know, they're always understanding. But I think for the most part, the group of guys are, you know, good guys and they're, you know, just good people to be around. Have you had a chance to uh, pick Chris Wondolowski's brain at practice? Has he, has he been out there to, uh, to watch you yet? Yeah, he's been out there and he's been, uh, he's been you know, helping out with the forwards and, and, you know, their development and, you know, implementing – different drills and different, you know, tips and tricks that he has here. So it's been cool to see him, uh, you know, at the trainings. And then he sometimes, you know, joins in and does the, some of the finishing stuff. And he's uh, yeah, really consistent with things. So it's cool to see that and to, to be able to learn from someone like him. Is there a part of you that kind of wants to geek out and be like, hey, let me ask you a hundred questions for the next hour or something like that? Um, I mean, not, not too much. I think, you know, I'm, I'm a, pretty easygoing guy, pretty relaxed guy. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty, yeah, just pretty, pretty relaxed. So I think, uh, you know, whenever I do need anything, I'll for sure go up to him, but nice. he's been, he's been helpful in the, in the transition and, you know, all the coaches have as well. And uh, I think it's, you know, it's just cool to see him play and, you know, join in trainings. And then if he has any tips for me, it's always good to, you know, take him from him. And, nice. In terms of getting to know the coaching staff, um, you know, obviously I, you know, you knew who Lucci was clearly, but you know, is it terms of like, how do those conversations go initially? Like they can tell you to play at at, at the left wing or they can tell you to play up top, but in terms of quickly understanding what they want you to do in terms of him coming to you and explaining is that, did that feel like it was a good line of communication? Cause that's kind of been one of the storylines with this team this year is that Lucci with his background of being a literal, you know, education teacher, it seems like he's very, very, he puts a high emphasis on making sure that his message is heard. And it seems like he does a very good job of hearing what your literal reaction and response is to his message. Yeah. So um, even before I came here, when, uh, you know, I was talking to him before he basically said, you know, that style he likes to play is like how great plays. And uh, I understand that system very well. And a lot of the terminology that he uses within the trainings and within those trainings are, you know, the same. So I'm able to, to adapt quickly. And, you know, if there's anything, you know, that needs to be changed so that they like to play that they'll normally tell me, except I think the transition has been really, really smooth and, uh, you know, it makes it easy for me as a player because I'm, I'm able to, you know, just focus on, on the game now instead of the, 
you know, learning all the specifics that the coach wants. Mm-hmm. How does uh, your body feel right now in fitness levels? Do you feel like you're uh, you're getting close to where you want to be? Yeah, because I was uh, I was out in England, so I've been in preseason basically. So we've been having two days a lot, and uh, you know that definitely puts you at a you know good fitness level. So I think you know I'm ready to go. Nice. Um, just because you have had to do it, like one of the I'm sure you're tired of hearing the arguments is people always say, oh well, you know in Europe they do. X, Y, and Z with development versus what we've been doing here in America, A, B, and C, for lack of a better term. Did you, have you noticed any difference in your time in Southern California before you went over to Europe and just the way that the game is maybe you know, how players are developed or how the coaching is, or is that maybe kind of a, an older or tired take? Um, I think that, you know, in the, in the generation I grew up with, it was, it was at the start of the, you know, the new academy system. So I think you saw a lot of players, you know, come out of that system. And then, um, yeah, they, they changed the academy system again. So I'm sure you'll see even even more players come out of that system. It's just, uh, you know, it's pretty similar in my opinion. It's just being able to take the step from, you know, being a good youth player to, you know, competing with the professionals. So I think, um, you know, if the United States can sort that out and, you know, make that transition easier and then help take players to the next level, then we'll see a lot more, you know, top talents coming through because I think we definitely have the, the players with the ability and, uh, you know, the skill level to do it, so. Nice. What is your, what's your goal here from now till the end of the season with San Jose? Um, I mean, first goal is get playoffs, I think. You know, that's what we're all searching for. And then from there, we'll go game by game to try and – um, you know, beat teams and hopefully win an MLS Cup. But I think we got to, you know, go step by step. You know, we can't just look at this big goal because then, you know, it's hard to accomplish without, you know, the little things and doing the little things right every day. And um, I think that's, you know, important to Lucci and what he was trying to implement the team is just going step by step and finding little ways to improve every day until, you know, you achieve your ultimate goal. So I think, you know, me coming here, my goal obviously is to, you know, is to get goals, is to, to play games, to start and to help the team. And, then, you know, that will lead to, to wins and you know, hopefully an MLS Cup. Well, Hoppy, man, I am stoked that you're now a part of what's happening in San Jose. Really excited for what happens now and in the future going forward. I appreciate your time. I promise that I will be bugging you at some trainings on some trips. And uh, I appreciate you once again and uh, yakking it up with me. All right. Yeah, of course.